Welcome to the DPS Crime Laboratory Division training video on the removal of lithium batteries from electronic smoking devices. This video will demonstrate the process for battery removal and proper packaging of the remaining device for submission to the laboratory. Failure to remove these batteries creates a substantial fire hazard to the critical evidence we store across the state. If you have any questions, please reach out to the regional laboratory. There are a few tools that you might need to remove lithium batteries from different kinds of electronic smoking devices. All of these tools might not be used every time a battery is removed from a device, but they are helpful to have in some situations. Needle nose pliers, a multi-tool, wire cutters, flathead screwdriver, leather gloves. The tools used to remove the devices are conductive, so they could spark during the removal process. Also, do not cut both leads at the same time. Always cut the leads short to prevent the wires from being able to touch and potentially sparking. Lastly, it's always a good idea to use heavy gloves, such as leather gloves, to protect your hands while you are using the tools. Use of heavy gloves is recommended but at a minimum, protective gloves may include nitrile. Lithium is very reactive with water and even moisture in the air. If the battery starts to smoke, heat up, or even ignite during removal, do not put water on the battery. To extinguish a fire from a lithium-ion battery, a standard ABC extinguisher can be used to put out the fire. Additionally, a foam extinguisher using carbon dioxide, powder graphite, or sodium carbonate may also be used. Lastly, when the lithium batteries have been removed, they should be stored in well-ventilated areas in a cool and dry location in non-conductive and flame-resistant containers and separated from other metal objects and flammable material. These batteries can also be stored in a container with mineral oil to keep the batteries away from moisture. This example is one of the easiest for battery removal. For this example, you can just screw off the vape cartridge and leave the battery contained in the smoking device behind. If the cartridge is submitted to the laboratory, please package into a sealable plastic bag. This will help to contain any potential leaking of the vape cartridge. Remove the plastic case and locate the battery. In this example, the lithium battery is this small tube covered in orange tape. Cut the tape and pull the battery away. Cut the wires from the battery and make sure to cut the wires short to prevent them from touching and potentially sparking. After the battery is removed, inspect the cartridge containing the liquid. Try to ensure that the cartridge has not been compromised. In this situation, the electronic smoking device is reassembled for submission. Start by prying off the bottom of the device. Pull out the battery and cut the wires. Remember to cut the wires short to try to prevent the wires from touching and potentially sparking. Reassemble device for submission. While it's not shown, it's a good idea to place the item into a sealable plastic bag to contain any potential leaks. Start by prying off the bottom of the device. You may need to use different tools to get enough space to pry the end off. For this particular brand, the button on the vape may interfere with the ability of the battery unit to slide out. Keep this in mind as you are working with the device because if the button is pressed, it activates the device. Once the slide is removed, cut the tape to access the wires to the battery. Cut the wires to remove the battery and remember to cut the wires short. The device can then be reassembled and packaged into a sealable plastic bag to contain any potential leaking. Start by prying off the bottom of the device. Once the bottom is removed, it exposes a plastic piece that is covering access to the battery that you will need to break off. Once the plastic piece is broken off, you can pull out the battery. Typically, the motion of pulling out the battery is going to break the wires. If the wires do not break off when the battery is pulled, the wires will need to be cut. Either way, the wires are separated from the battery. 
remember to cut the wires short to keep them from touching and potentially sparking. Once the battery is removed, replace the bottom and place into a sealable plastic bag to contain any potential leaking. There are other brands that can be very similar that are assembled like this, but they do not have the plastic piece covering the battery. Start by peeling off the sticker. This allows access to an open area. Use needle nose pliers or something similar to push out the slide. This slide contains the battery. To remove the battery, cut the wires to the battery and cut the tape to remove the battery from the slide. The device can then be reassembled and placed in a sealable plastic bag to contain any potential leaking. Start by removing the mouthpiece. That will allow access to the battery and vape liquid. Cut the tape to allow access to the battery. Cut the leads to the battery and remember to cut the leads short to prevent them from touching and sparking. Put the vape juice and inner material back into the vape device for submission. We have not received any specialized training on the removal of these batteries. Styles and models continually change, so we are providing a variety of examples and techniques that can be applied for alternate similar devices. When you encounter a device that you have not seen before, there are a few approaches you could take to figure out how to remove the battery. First, you can try to look up videos of that particular style to see if there are instructions on removing it online. If that fails, then you will have to look at the case to try to figure out how it is put together. Look for a spot that detaches the easiest. Once you start to disassemble the device, you can locate and figure out how to remove the battery. Disposal of Lithium Batteries Now that the batteries have been removed from these electronic smoking devices, the next step is properly disposing of these batteries. Due to the safety risks associated with lithium batteries, it is important to package them separately from each other. You can do that by packaging them into individual sealable plastic bags. To conserve, you can use a large plastic bag and segregate the individual batteries with a heat sealer. Additionally, these batteries can be stored in a container with mineral oil to keep the batteries away from moisture. Numerous retailers offer free recycling of lithium batteries as a disposal option. Try to look for a retailer near you to take these batteries for disposal. They should not be placed into the regular trash. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about packaging or submission of these items, please contact your regional laboratory.